Hello everyone, my name is Flare Bliss and welcome to the Trials of Goodbye. You are the Reaper of Death, and there is only one person left on Earth. You are the one that decides if they go to Heaven, Hell, or Purgatory, which is internal damnation in their own ways. Let's see, press start, and... You are the Reaper of Death. This is the final person on Earth. You must decide if they go to heaven or hell, or even purgatory. You may choose to befriend this person, or not. The choice is yours. The last person. The world has finally come to a close. Come forth. See your fate before me. Reaper. Okay, child. Tell me your name. Tala. Tala, yes. 15 years old. Lived the normal teenage life until the world ended. It was a slow burn. Everyone you knew, million others you never got to meet, all have passed these trials. You are the only one here. The anchor of humanity. Do you know how you died? No, I don't really remember much. What should I tell her? Um, opt out. Was my death worth it? What defines it? For myself, I have reaped the earth of souls for millennia. My bones have not felt the earth in a long time. Were you once human? I was. But you would hardly relate to me. I was what they called an early human. A homo habeas? The first human to create and work with their own hands? Yes, with a smiley emoji. Somehow knowing that makes you less scary. Mind you, my time was short, but I was the first to live, and you, my child, are the last to die. Scary. But you're much more friendlier than I expected from the Grim Reaper. Know that I am also lucky to meet you, Tala. If you want to be even nicer, you wouldn't have you wouldn't give me a verdict. Do you know where your fate lies? I assume I have no control over that. No, that is on me to decide. You're the culmination of your actions on Earth. Do you decide a person's fate by how good they are? Do I tell her the truth? Lie. To be good, to be moral, ethical. To follow the law and abide justice. But if a poor man steals, would he not still be good? Or at least be more moral than a rich man who steals? Maybe. But let's consider this. Does any amount of reasoning serve enough purpose to tempt a person to commit acts of evil? It depends. Exactly. Which is why that argument isn't always valid. You're truly something else, Reaper. I'm not here to make you suffer, child. My job is simple to give a verdict that sends those toward their fate. Let me pick your brain then. Can a child be evil? A child can indeed doom the world if they so wish. But can a child really be guilty? They are thoughtless, like a dog. A dog can kill for sport too. Why is it wrong if it's coded in us? Ah, uh -huh, coded as in like, well, this is a game. 
How much free will do we really have? If we're just a dog or a child, look at yourself closely. Excuse me? You are unaware of yourself, child. We just survive, right? Do you see yourself as guiltless? I... So you do remember, don't you? What has this girl done then? Nobody forgets truly. If I may speak now, you are guilty of murdering your mother, father, and your grandfather. Do you admit to these charges? I... I never meant to... to kill them. While they were away, I put sleeping pills in Nanny's cooking. Oh. They slept so peacefully that night. Ah, now your guilt has shown upon yourself and now there's blood on you. There was little hope left for the few of us on Earth, but they were so happy. I hated their laughter. Even when we had little to eat, when Lolo would cry in his sleep. I knew time was short, and I was the youngest of the family. I thought I could live longer off the food and resources we had. It's why I killed them. It's why things turned out the way they did. I don't regret it. If that's what you're asking, for survival's sake, you don't regret it. How merciless. Then why did you end it? Because of your actions, the human race is gone. I didn't choose a world like this. A world where there would be so little left to even feed a single family. To dare call me selfish? I had no choice in this case. I never said you were selfish. What am I supposed to say? I loved my family. I miss my Talale, my Lolo, even my nanny. And I will never get them back. I sacrifice everything. Well, because I couldn't live without, well, with them, sorry. Damn. You couldn't live without them either. Exactly. Humans are the same as ever. The same trap of living and dying, time and time again. Look at yourself, trying to tell me things last forever. There. I guess it's the right time now. Your verdict. My verdict. Ah. Where shall we send her? We'll be evil this time around. You are to be sent to possibly the second worst place ever. Hell. Yes. Even after I spilled my heart out to you? This knife is my gift to you. It is a reminder of your sin. But it is also a testament to the sacrifice you made. You must own it. Can I die now? Oh my gosh, you got horns growing out of you. Luckily, no. But it is an eternal place of suffering. Suffering is much worse than dying. I'm scared. Is that normal? Do not fear your fate. This is the ending you desired. So I bring you here to hell. Was I evil? Did I really deserve all of this? Yes. You committed evil against your family. No amount of self-preservation can save a selfish act. Then this is my fate. Goodbye, Reaper.
Goodbye, last human. Goodbye, child. Oh, the end. Created by Yasmin. Sound effects created by Coffee Val and Bat. Art story code music by Yasmin or Yasmin. Yasmine. Apologies for mispronouncing your name. Is that it? Do we? Do we have anything else that we can do, or are we just stuck here? I think we're stuck here, so we'll we'll begin anew. Tell her. You died by your own hands. Tell the truth. You assume much about how I determine who goes where. Being good is as subjective as anything else. No. No. But your crime is absolute. And for that, your punishment lives in hell. I cannot save you from my your own decision. Then this is my fate. I chose hell again, by the way. Goodbye, Reaper. See you in hell. Goodbye, child. We might not actually be in hell, actually. We might be within the lands of between. In this timeline, you deserve enlightenment to go to heaven. Heaven? Yes. After everything? A banquet of flowers for you. Let their scent guide you before the petals scatter. I hope this gift will be useful for you. Thank you. I'll leave a little halo above and the blood is gone. Though I must ask. Proceed. Why me? You did right. I see. I suppose this is time to say goodbye. Thank you for being my friend for one final moment. Goodbye then. Goodbye, child. And there's that. Off to heaven this time. You were innocent. I see. I suppose this is time to say goodbye. Thank you for being my friend for one final moment. Goodbye then. Goodbye, child. A place neither heaven or hell, but in a constant, a purgatory it would seem. No change, purgatory. A choice befitting you. It is a dark tunnel that many walk endlessly to redeem themselves. This candle will burn bright for you, just as long as you move forward and keep hope. Is this how I redeem myself? Hope? Child, your hope is what will lend you out of purgatory one day. Reaper? Yes? Will I meet you again when I get out? To be honest with you, not many make it out of purgatory. To save your soul, it is a journey for only the strong. But I believe in you, child. I'll believe in you so that we may meet again. I hope to make it out. Goodbye. Goodbye, child. And may you walk out of purgatory alive after you have condemned and learned from your heinous mistakes. So that, people, is the trials of goodbye. A very short and you call minimalistic game, but has a little bit of story here and there, I would say, especially with the uh, the murders that our dear protagonist has delivered upon us 
the family members of hers. Like, Taylor ended up killing up her family members in order for self-preservation. Because as put within the game, this is a dying world in which its resources have become to its absolute minimal. And... Obviously, one person having those resources in her way is better than four or five people, including herself having those resources. An enactment of self-preservation as the last person on Earth in order to truly fulfill out their life so that they can live for as long as possible. But within this dying world, with nobody to repopulate with, then in some cases, then would you end up dying with your loved ones or would you try and make a fuller life for yourself by sacrificing those around you and in Tala's case that probably was not an easy thing to do but she did it without regret because that regret would then come back to destroy her but in the same vein with the purgatory part she would have to reflect upon that and then condemn her own actions and by doing so only then will she be able to walk out of purgatory and one day meet the reaper again. And I think the purgatory route is the canonical route of this game, considering the fact that A, there's not two choices, but B, I think in the cases of a reaper, they send those to death when death is called, but... Do they really want to continuously have a spirit around? Sorry, a spirit, not spirit around. <laughs> a spirit around which is eternally damned to either one way or another. Because people usually view heaven as this holy enlightenment that is a place in which you will always be in peace. Whereas hell is always a place for suffering and damnation. And the fact that no matter how much you suffer, no matter how much you plead for that sweet embrace of death, you will never ever get it. Just look up the Dark Elder race in the Warhammer 40,000 universe and you'll see what I mean by an eternal damnation of pain and suffering without death. But Tala in this case has only did, did what she did because of the fact that she is the youngest in the family so therefore she would think she would have the longest amount of time left to survive because of her age doesn't always work like that like the reaper will choose when your time is up and then when that time is up he will come and collect your soul and send it to a place in which he deems worthy of you of going like this game includes minor blood, obviously, we've seen that. Mentions of murder, yep. And, well, the murder because of the fact that Tana murdered her family members, but suicide also because of the fact that, that she, when you tell her the truth about your own death, in Tana's perspective, the Reaper said you died by your own hands, meaning that you committed self oofing if you get what I mean. But I really like this game. It's a lovely little tale. Thank you so much for watching. There's a link in the description below where you'll be able to download this game for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. And take care of yourselves, everyone.